and I'll be explaining to you all about the Lady Knox Geyser this morning. Now, first of all, I'm just going to go over a few little safety notes. For people that are heading back to the park after seeing the geyser, when you are walking around the park, we do request that you stay on the pathways at all times, just for your own safety, and before you go through, also to have appropriate footwear as well. Okay, so what I'll start talking about is the geysers in the area here. Now, in the Taupo region, back in the 1800s, there was estimated to be about 130 geysers throughout the area. But by the 1970s, the number had dropped down to around about 15 geysers. One of the main reasons for the drop in number of geysers was geothermal draw-off to power stations throughout this area here. But this area right here was a very active geyser field though. There's a few geysers on the side here, also a few others around the corner here as well. But how this geyser sort of came about was back in 1901. Now, back then, New Zealand had its first open prison, and the prison was built right here at Waiatapu. Now, what its main objectives were, were to bring all the prisoners from the jails from the Rotorua Lake district. Now, when the prisoners came out here, they were also told they could work off their time as well. So they were told to cut the light bush and shrub, and also to build roads, and also to plant pine trees. Now, as you could imagine back then, it would have been a very dirty job. So when some of the prisoners were exploring the area, they came across this geyser field here. And when they first came across this geyser here, the geyser was actually flat. So what they ended up doing was sitting around the hot water spring and using that hot water to wash their clothes with. So one day they were sitting around the geyser here washing their clothes. One of the prisoners dropped his bar of soap into the spring. <laughs> Um, what he actually ended up doing was changing the surface tension in the water and that's by accident setting off the geyser. So all of a sudden the clothes sort of went flying skywards, they went rain back into the shrub. Um, but when they came back to the spring, they all decided to have a little bit more fun with it. What they ended up doing was placing rocks around the base of the spring. And what that is actually doing is actually enhancing the eruption of the geyser. Now, what I'm actually adding into the geyser this morning is a chemically engineered surfactant. It's environmentally friendly, but it'll be sending off the geyser in the exact same way as the prisoners were doing back here. So I'll just add into the geyser now. Hello. They certainly will. <laughs> would have naturally erupt on its own without me adding any surfactant to it. Um, but its normal eruption cycle, it's anywhere between 24 hours to 72 hours. So yes, it would go off on its own, but just somewhere between those times. So what's actually happening underneath the geyser right now is there's two different chambers of water. There is a cool chamber of water. And right below that cool chamber of water, there is a hot chamber of water. Now the two chambers of water are connected to each other, but the temperature of that hot water is reaching temperatures over 150 Celsius. So what's actually stopping that boiling water erupting out of the geyser, it is the cooler water that is sitting right above it. Now the temperature of that cooler water is around about 90 Celsius. What the surfactant is doing right now is it's actually breaking the surface tension in that cooler water. So the cool water is mixing in with the hot water. And as soon as those two different temperatures of water meet, the water turns into steam and expands. It's just going to keep expanding to a point and it just sort of erupts. See, um, the geyser can reach up to heights of 20 metres, and the eruption tends to last for around about an hour. Wow. During that hour's eruption, around about 25,000 25, litres of water will actually come through the geyser here. Now there are many different minerals in the water, but the main mineral is silica. Now when the geyser erupts, the silica is in the water, and when it erupts it deposits the mineral around the geyser, giving it the white, strange shaped appearance we see now. Mm.
Their geyser is named after Lady Constant Knox. Now, it was a, she was a daughter of Lord Ramsbury. Uh, he was the 15th governor of New Zealand back in May 1903. His job was to inspect all prisons throughout New Zealand. He came up to Waitapu here. They brought his family out with him as well. And they heard about the geyser. So they came down one day and his daughter, Lady Constant Knox, set off the geyser. Still got christened there on this uh, Lady Knox geyser. Now there is a slight breeze about today, guys, so there is a slight possibility that the guys that might sort of throw into the crowd a little bit. Don't worry, time it sort of lands in the crowd is quite cool, but you missed out for your shower this morning, you the retreat. You can see more, more on the side of the audience right here. Thank you, See, um, if anyone's got any questions for about the guys, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions back at the business centre. The guys, it doesn't look like it's too far away from going off. So I hope you enjoy your day here with us at Waio Tapu Herbal Wonderland. And I hope you have a nice day. And thank you. Thank you, Mr. Oh, here you go, here you go. It's going to 20 meters. So I'm waiting for something to happen. It's going to be good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I can. I've got a clear view. I'm, I'm all set. Now we're getting wet. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm fine. They did say that it would spray. Yeah, they did. It's not nothing much. Gosh, a sprinkle. Isn't that neat? I can we get right down. I can get closer now. They're, they're chickened out.
How about that? Wow. It's been going there for a few minutes now, hasn't it? Yes. yes. We're up in a bit a different spot now. Deb found me a better spot to look from. Yeah, otherwise you've got too much steam. Yes. We're in the in amongst the steam under that. Yeah. Did you hear the rumble? Oh yes, good eye. Yeah. I wish we had the eye river going. <laughs> oh well. Next time, girlfriend, we'll have the eye river. Oh, something better actually. <laughs> and look how far up it goes. Oh yeah. Mm. You can still hear it fizzing. Yeah. I, 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 I do actually have a question. I wonder if that prisoner got a free pardon because he created a tourist attraction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he said he'll take visit questions back at the visitor centre. <laughs> now we've gone a bit further around to the other side. Now the sun's over there in the in the north eastern sky, and here we are here. Hmm. Oh yes, I wish I had an Olympus. Oh, something to record it. Actually, I got the recording equipment back at the house, but it's it's a, it's a bit convoluted to set it up. But the bass the bass sounded good. Mm. Kylie loved the bass. The rumble. Now I think I think yes. that one mm. encompasses which is thirty minutes. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah, we can do that. That comes as the champagne for the inferno crater, bird's nest crater, sulphur cave, devil's bar. Hmm. Devil's Home, Rainbow Crater, Thunder Crater, Devil's Inkbox, Artist's Palette, Opal Pool, Crossing of the Terrace on the Boardwalk, so you have to cross, cross it. Oh my goodness. Neat. Neat. I'm up for it. It's an adventure. Look at how straight it is on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, two's only ten minutes long, though, isn't it? 40 minutes, one yeah. and two, one yeah. and two together. Yes. We could probably get better value out of the extra 10 minutes, eh? Could you do that, girlfriend? Oh, we, can we're not our, be... we can take our time. Yeah. We've got walking shoes on every one of us. I have, days. yep. Did you say you had the right shoes on? I yeah. Have. Oh, I thought, okay. Yeah. Yes, we'll go up the yeah. That was a ripper. <laughs> 